Hello, welcome to easy to learn. Today, I'll show you how to download Windows 10 ISO file without media creation tool. Now, there are two ways to install Windows 10 on PC. You can either upgrade your PC to Windows 10 or make a clean install. For upgrading purpose, you can use media creation tool and proceed with the upgrade. But if you want to download ISO file with media creation tool for clean installation, most likely you will get an error before the download is completed, which I will show you now. Let's get started. I will be using Google Chrome. In the search area, I will type Windows 10 download. It should bring up Windows download link from Microsoft website. Make sure it is from Microsoft.com. Then click on the link. As we can see, the only available option to download Windows 10 is with Media Creation Tool. Click on Download Tool now. I'm using Internet Download Manager. I will save the file to my desktop. Now, to run the tool, double click Media Creation Tool File. Then, click on Accept. The tool gave us two options. As I need to save an ISO file, then I will choose Create Installation Media for another PC. Here we can change the language, the edition, CPU architecture to match our computer's hardware. Here I will choose ISO file. Then click next. To start the process, I will save the file as Windows 10. As we can see, the download was disturbed because of some error. Now, Let's download Windows 10 ISO file by different way. Method 1 is by using Chrome Mobile Emulator extension. At the top right corner, click on Menu. Then, hover your mouse over More Tools. Then, click on Extensions. Now, click on Get more extensions. Type in the search box, Mobile Browser Emulator. Click on Add to Chrome. In the pop-up window, click on Add Extension. Now, we've successfully installed Mobile Browser Emulator. I will just close other browser tabs that I don't need. Now, let's start our mobile emulator. Here, 
I can choose different resolutions. Once I click on the mobile emulator, it should load up the current open window in the emulator window. Scroll down until you see Select Edition. Here, you can choose the desired Windows 10 Edition. Then, click on Confirm. Here, you can choose the language. Then, click on Confirm. Now, it gave us two different versions. Choose between 64-bit and 32-bit. Please note, download links will be valid for 24 hours. I've chosen 64-bit version to download. I will name the file to Windows 10. Then save it to my desktop. Now, let's see other method. Method 2 is by using Internet Explorer. In this demonstration, I'm using Windows 10. You will need to open up Internet Explorer. In the search area, type Windows 10 Download. It should bring up Windows Download link from Microsoft website. Make sure it is from Microsoft.com. Then, click on the link. As we can see, the only available option to download Windows 10 is with Media Creation Tool. Right click anywhere on the window. Then click on Inspect Element. At the bottom you should see Developer Tools window. Click on Emulation tab. And then, from the user agent string list, choose Apple Safari iPad. Then, the page should reload by itself. If the page does not reload, click F5 on your keyboard to refresh the page. As we can see, Media Creation Tool has disappeared from the page. Now, we can select Windows 10 Edition from the drop down menu. Then, click on Confirm. Choose the language. Then, click on Confirm. Now it gave us two different versions. Choose between 64 bit and 32 bit. CPU architecture to match your computer's hardware. Please note, download links will be valid for 24 hours. I've chosen 64 bit version to download. I will name the file to Windows 10, then save it to my desktop. Now, 
My download has been completed and saved on my desktop. Let's create Windows 10 bootable USB drive. Let's go back to our browser. and type in the search area, Rufus. Click on the link. The link should take us to Rufus website. Scroll down to the download section. Then, click on Rufus to download the file. I will save the file to my desktop. Double click the downloaded file to run the program. It will ask to check for updates, click no for now. Under device, it will show only connected USB flash drives. Under partition, scheme, leave it on BIOS or UEFI. Under file system, I will leave it as it is. Now, click on the disk icon to load Windows 10 ISO file. I will just give my USB drive a new label name. Click on Start to start the process. You should get a warning message that all data on USB drive will be destroyed. Verify the information, then click OK to proceed. Rufus should take between 10 to 15 minutes to complete the operation depending on your computer speed. I will verify the files have been transferred to my USB drive. Now, I can use the USB drive to freshly install new operating system on my computers. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below.